Hey, oh, what's up guys, Dr. Cloud here, and we are here for episode number five of the Pokemon Heart Gold Shady Lock. I definitely just had to look at the layout name to make sure I had it right. So, anyways, team recap, let's go ahead and get into that, because, you know, you guys obviously know what's happening, because uh, you've been watching the series for the last four episodes, right? Right. Anyways, we got Amazon here, the Gliscor, holding the Amulet Coin with Speed Boost. I'm kind of reminding myself, same time reminding you, so. Poison Jab, Knock Off, Quick Attack, and Sand Attack. Then we got Grit, the D D D Hypno, with Download, holding the Wise Glasses, with Confusion, Headbutt, Hypnosis, and Pound. We got Bane, the Porygon, too, with Multi-Type, very helpful. Uh, not holding any item, I don't know what to give him. And he has Psybeam, Conversion, to Tackle, and Defense Girl. I got Casual the Ludicolo here with Airlock holding the Miracle Seed with Mega Drain, Bubble Beam, Nature Power, and Astonish. We got Rescue the Omastar with Unaware holding the Dread Plate with Rollout, Bite, Constrict, and Water Gun. He is definitely almost out of moves and I was kind of lucky I learned Rollout when I did. And we got Cormo with Huge Power of Haunter. Very huge power. Do you see how big his biceps are? Just mm, big. Anyways. On the spooky plate with lick hypnosis nightshade and curse all right so yeah obviously i did like some pretty good grinding um i just noticed that cormo's like uh, attack even if you double with huge power isn't even as good as the special attack which is kind of hilarious um but yeah everyone's at least level 17 except for uh casual who i have to rely on a little bit more to uh do the training for some members but i did get bean and amazon trained up and I was very thankful for the ambient coin the whole time, so I'm going to keep on using it and make sure we have enough money for every with everything that we want in the game. And I'm going to do a quick po few potions here on members that I feel like I might need to rely on going into this gym right now, because that's what we're doing in today's episode, is going into the gym. <sighs> Ooh, I need to breathe for a second, hold on. And we're back into it. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, actually, I just saw an item I can totally give uh, to, to uh, Porygon 2, uh, as long as there's nothing else. And I really, really, really need to look up where um, Fossil Restoration is in this game, because I don't remember. Uh, do you think Porygon 2 would like to hold a stick? I bet he'd like to have a stick. But no, I'm going to give him the berry juice. I think it could prove very useful. Uh, cause he is a bulkier mon that I do have, so. Uh, actually, Kurt should be done with my Pokeballs now. Uh, I haven't recorded in like a day or two, so. He actually should be done with my Pokeballs. And I can give him a new set. You know, we just farming out them Pokeballs from Kurt. Um, I think I did go back to the, um, Violet City Pokemon. Ooh, friend balls. Violet City Pokemon, uh, Mart and checked with the secondary person but i definitely don't remember what i got or if there was anything good so um don't ask me i guess i think those are heavy balls i don't i don't remember the i think they're love balls um i think i'm actually gonna go heavy if i'm right about that i might not be i'm not like the best in the world at remembering what apricorns turn into what ball or if they're called apricorns or apricots, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's apricorn because, um, apricots are real things. And I've been saying that a little bit weird. Oh, I actually could have had, uh, I could have had another, um, ball. Another pink one. Okay. So, it's time to head into the gym. Gliscor is holding on to the DVD amulet coin. There's so often my brain stutters. Like, I think I'm just trying to talk too fast and it's making my brain stutter because it can't keep up with what I'm trying to say. If I just like took a second and thought about it, then I would be fine. I know how this gym works. so I'm just like kind of like analyzing which one I need to go to. Because I don't really need to battle any unnecessary battles. Um, my money's in a pretty good spot. 
which I know I said that like I should just battle all the trainers to get as much money, but like, I also don't want to over level because I was super over leveled for the last gym and I kind of want it to be a little more of a challenge. Create a little bit of interesting content for you guys, you know? Uh, I got plenty of quick attacks for this Caterpie. I believe I'm on par with his ace right now with my whole team. So, as long as his ace isn't anything like too crazy, then I should be able to knock it out really easily. Metachan. Okay, this thing's level 12. Um, I don't think Narcos is really gonna do much more. Ooh, okay, okay. He's just letting me get my speed boost up, really, isn't he? That's what, um, that's what competitive play, isn't it? Um, if you have a speed boost mon, you, they have, like, protect or detect, and you use that to boost their speed, like, that first turn. I mean, I'm not mad, I guess. He's just giving me this speed boost. Yo, imagine if there was an... Ooh, that was crit. Okay, nice. Um, but imagine if there was an ability that raised your attack every turn. Or, like... Just made it like a little bit more interesting, like maybe you raised your um what's another thing? Raised your um accuracy, you know? So then you could use moves like Thunder uh or Zap Cannon like more reliably. You just had to kind of outplay your opponent. That'd be pretty interesting. Cause like we have stuff for defense, uh with like stamina each time you get hit. But I don't know, like I I think there's more that can be done with that idea, but they just aren't really touching it. Also, can I just say that, like, I really enjoy these rescue team, um, team spots. Like, the Gliscor, especially, like, I just, uh, uh, he looks, he looks so nice. He reminds me so much of the Sinner League Victor's, um, like, art style they use for the Gliscor. He looks so nice. I love him. I love him. That Gliscord made me like Gliscord so much more. Okay, um, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, I think I see what I need to do. Just, I'm gonna let my brain process it one more time just to be sure. Yeah, I think I pretty much have to go into a double battle, which kind of stinks. Yep, that's exactly what I have to do. Uh, I think I have a Hypno, so it should be fine. Yeah, should be fine. So you're gonna have to fight two trainers in this gym, I'm pretty sure. They're gonna try to like... Okay, the Cyclops worried me a little bit. I was like, mm hmm. Ah. Uh, that sound made my lip like vibrate and it made it like itch. I'm not sure if these are issues that other people have, but I guess I am a weird person. I, it's not really, I guess. I know. I know I'm a weird person. I don't really need someone to like tell me that. I'm, I'm abundantly aware of it all the time. And I'm pretty okay with it too. I use the word pretty because you know, sometimes it's like, man, what if I, what if, what, what if, what if I was a little bit more normal? Would I be like more likable? And I, I, I'm, div I'm diving a little bit deeper than what I was uh, planning to do, but um, yeah, I, I, I do think about that sometimes. <sighs> you know, you want to be a likable person, but you also want to be yourself, so. And yourself isn't a likable person. That's me. I'm a very, like, annoying person. And I get on people's nerves. I I don't need the Pokey Gear. But I do need some potions. Potions Is another way to say potions. Hey, Luna. I like to say hi to my animals whenever they pass. I know you guys can, like, never really see them, but, like, I don't know. I just like acknowledging my animals when I can. Because, because I end up recording for long periods of time, sometimes they don't get uh, as much attention as they normally would. But I try my best. But there's one in particular. 
and her name is Daisy, and she is just the neediest little thing, and, like, I love her to death, but, like, she did, she, she, she irks me. She irks me a lot. I'm gonna say before we go into this battle, just because, you know, you know, uh, playing it safe. Playing it safe. I like that. I like that. I'm gonna see if I can make, just, like, make that a phrase, see if I can remember it. Uh, each time I go into, like, uh, let me say it uh, a couple more times, if, see if it'll help. <clears throat> Go into big moments in games, you know. Playing it safe, playing it safe. Alright, Lazy Wayne, let's do it. Mmm. That is very possibly one of the worst things I could see right now. Because um, it's not that I don't have something to switch out into, it's just that I have to switch out. Um, I'm pretty sure Casual can pretty much just take this on by himself, though. Just for the sake of it, I'm pretty sure Rescue probably could have taken him on, too, since he learned Water Gun. But, um, I want to make sure he's safe. Bro? This steel looks out here he's got dry skin for water moves i'm glad i didn't switch into rescue my dude oh my i'm like kind of blown away by that that's that's wild dry skin steelix i mean he's quad what yeah he's quad weak to uh fire because of that but still that's just like that's so amazing Oh, also, the Steelix is his ace, in case you guys didn't know. Um, Bugsy in uh, Heart Gold Soul Silver leads his ace, which is normally a Scyther. It's actually really annoying. Bro, I'm just... I'm so baffled by, like, dry skin Steelix over here. Like, I was bound to run into something like that, but... Man. I got like, my draw drop, man. I want to see if I can pull that face for the thumbnail. It's a little bit harder um, now with me using Pokelink. Um, I mean, it's an it's an igly buff. Literally anyone can fight this. Um, Bean go. Also, I another thing I side side just realized. Uh, Rescue didn't doesn't have any water guns because he's out of PP for every move except for rollout. Um, I'm out of tackles too. Okay. I really didn't feel I needed to go to the Pokemon Center um, before this gym battle, and really I didn't. I'm actually pretty good. I'm also pretty sure I forgot to add... Um, I forgot to add the token for beating Faulkner uh, in the last episode. A Ralts. I bet this thing has confusion. Um, so I'm gonna go grid just headbutt it. Really, like, the, the Montiaz aren't a big deal. That Steelix was a... Uh, a little bit troublesome but thankfully we have casual who's just just the filthiest of casuals man i love him he's great perfect raising my attack uh i can probably go for the pound pretty successfully i'll probably take at least three fours right yeah bro i got that calculator brain out here we're episode five and i've already i'm about to get the second gym badge I kind of love how fast Gen 2 plays, but I also kind of hate it. It Gen 2 is such a love-hate relationship, honestly. So I'm still like on the fence every time because I don't a hundred percent want to uh, want to run over and do uh, Kanto because Kanto is just a bunch of Gym Leer battles over and over. But at the same time, like if I'm doing well, then I don't want to stop. All right. What did Bugsy give us? He gave us skill swap. Uh, not a bad thing, especially like in that Steelix case. I would actually love Gliscor with U-turn. 
That would be awesome. Can't you like double kick too, if I remember right? I'm kind of tempted to teach him that over Harden, I think he has. Wait, mm -hmm. it's good on steel. I'm not going to leave him against an ice type and rock, but I hope he gets a ground type move soon. Um, rescue's not a lot different either. Like, the only thing that helps him out with is steel, but I think he'd be fine just uh, using a water gun on a steel type for the most part. Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be some Pokemon I'm going to add to the team who's going to need that kind of move more. Because I do still have uh, quite a few encounters. Like, I still have my new Bark encounter. I actually have my encounter still over here on the um, right side of this town. Uh, how's my ball supply? Looking a little rough. Okay, um, since I can't heal in the Pokemon Center, and even though I have four tokens, I'm still not going to. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and fight my rival here. I kind of want to save Grit, because I know he's going to have the Alkazam, and I want Grit for the Alkazam. Alright, I'm just going to... Ooh, okay, okay, hold on. I'm going to save real quick, and make sure everything's fine before I glitch out. And can you please save faster? Nice, nice. We're black screened. I don't think it's fixing it. Uh, I might have to reset the, uh, the game. Yeah, I'm going to have to reset it. Hold on. Live editing, live editing. Okay, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. All right, let's go ahead and take on our rival. I'm just going to get a little bit extra money from him, as well as see how much money I have to work with um, to buy balls for this encounter. Because I didn't want to not have any balls for healing going into this. I should, I should be able to like knock the, just knock off this thing, right? Pretty much like take it out? Uh, no. Really no. Uh, actually, let me just do the pro play here and know that Beldum only has takedown and just go into Cormo. Yeah, this ain't no like Gen 6 game where Beldum has Zen Headbutt. Ooh, let's go. Let's go, Cormo. Huge power Cormo for the win. Hmm. I'm, I'm like really imagining uh, Cormo with big biceps, just big old beefy arms, and it's just, it's wrong. It's so wrong. All right, there's the Alex Sam. All right, this is what Grit's here for. Nice, download, download. Yes, raise my attack. Go straight for the headbutt. We're not messing around. Lore Max, see all you want. We got this. I'm gonna bash my head into you. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Get it, get it, get it. Rear back. Rear back. Ugh. Got him. Oh, wow. That didn't... Oh, okay. Oh. 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 Sure. Fine. Fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna punch him. Punch him right in the mustache. We're gonna like we're gonna like we're 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 gonna grab like both sides of that mustache and just kinda pull him down right to the ground. Just have his face hit the ground. Man, he's using Kinesis a lot. Wait. Does Alex Alexam has an attacking move at 18, right? 
I imagine he still has confusion. Make me wonder if he doesn't anymore. Mmm, poison gas. I think I'm gonna keep pound over it. Okay. And a hoot. Okay. Let let me throw rescue in. Rescue me, knock it out in two rollouts. See, look at this. I shouldn't have been too scared about this. I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I didn't, I don't even really have to rely on casual that much. Um, that's really annoying. I think I'm just gonna wake up now though. I don't. Oh, he's gonna uproar me anyways. Okay, well, that battle was pretty much no problem. I think we got hit, like, twice. So, essentially, that was just free money. How much money are we sitting at? Ooh, baby, we got 11k? Let's go. I bet I can buy Great Balls, too, now. I still want more Pokeballs, though. And I want to use Kurt, like, just over and over. Uh, I already talked to that guy. Okay, I still can't buy Great Balls. Maybe maybe it's the store I'm in I can't buy Great Balls, if that's how it works. Because I'm pretty sure in the um, Goldenrod department store you can buy uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, Ultra Balls. So, you know, that's something to watch out for. But for now, we're running out and getting that Ilex Forest encounter. Gonna keep using what's his name? My hypno. I can't remember his name right now. I'll figure it out here in a second though. Wow, that was a fast encounter. Okay. 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 Um, I don't want Magby right now. Um, uh, maybe like, like, cause like I want Magmar and I want Magmortar. I just don't want want uh to throw a mag beyond my team right now is really what it is okay can you can you can you can you not please thank you oh there we go we land our very last one that's cool that's cool that's cool it actually is though uh because we would have missed that one i would have been very upset with grit big old big 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 nose grit Um, I don't really need Smag B to be more friendly to me. It actually would have been good if I had friend balls last episode, whenever I caught, you know, four friendship mon. Oh, okay. Okay, Mag B. Okay, I see how it is. Okay, thank you for not poisoning me. Um, and now I have to rely on Cormo, because he still has hypnosis. I should have enough time to get through this forest, I would say, in this episode. There he is. Yep. Oh, there we go. See? See? Grit. Hormo lands his first hypnosis, not his last. That's how you gotta do it, bud. You know, I'm legitimately curious if I didn't have, uh, Popo. Huge power would have let kill this thing. I don't know what the answer is, but I don't feel like it would. Okay, good. See? See? See, Grit, you need to take notes on Cormo. Cormo knows how to put something to sleep to sleep, not just kinda sleep. Okay. But uh, apparently he does not know how to catch stuff. Uh, at least Cormo can't be poisoned. That's kind of my big plus at the moment. You're gonna have to bring the doggo into the room for my next episode. She's starting to get a little bit riley out there, and it's kind of her bedtime, so. You need to start winding down for sleep. I tried to get her in here before before I started, but um, she was not having it. She's like, nope, I wanna be out here. 
Thank you, Magby. Kind of annoying me, I'm sorry. He's just kind of, kind of, kind of rallying me up a little bit. All right, so it's going to be named after Gus, Gus Hagman. I think I said that right. Uh, thank you for the subscription. I very much appreciate you, and I hope you continue following the content. We'll check out that Magby a little bit later. Uh, I don't really see any reason to check it out right now. I'm going to keep using Amazon for right now. I also sent me wonder if there was another thing that might have been better. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about this. <clears throat> I'm going to have to teach something cut. I really don't want to do that. Hi, Autumn. You jumped up here so suddenly. Yeah, no, that's that's not for you. That's my drink. All right, this puzzle is literally no problem at all. Autumn, no. He's trying to play with my lens cap to my camera. I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta maneuver around her. Cause I don't want to be like extremely mean to her, but at the same time, um, is very much just like trying to be in my way. Or maybe not trying, but is still without intending it. If she thinks like the sprites moving on the screen are a play thing for her, but you know, they're not. Um. I'm just making sure I know how to do this one here. There should be another counter here besides Magby, and I'd really like to see it. Mm. Amazon just like, the claw. Great. I'm trying to decide if this counts as behind. No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay. I see, I see, I see, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Got him. Grab that bird right in the butt. Promise I'm not a feathery. I don't know if um, people who like to dress as birds uh, have different names from furry. I don't know. Or like scaly. Are scalies a thing? Um, so I'm pretty confident that multiple people on my team can learn cut right now, but I literally don't want anyone to learn cut because it's kind of a poop garbage move and you can't forget it forever. Uh, okay, so literally only Amazon can. I'm going to call this one early and we're going to start right here and we'll get into Goldenrod for the next one. That seems like the most convenient thing for me to do, so I don't have to just run back, run back here, and then end. So it makes no sense, so... All right, this feels like a natural ending for you guys. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one where we will kind of explore out Goldenrod and then we will take on the gym. So until then, be safe guys.